What's up, guys? So we're doing a full pet treatment, although there's not, a, surprisingly, not a lot of urine, but a little piece of doo-doo there from the dog, of course. Um, but it, the whole house has a, has a, I have the lights down because I went through with my light detecting anything. Um, so, oh, that's a red there. I did not see that, aren't I? But, um... Guys, rolling the eyes, I'll just let them know if it comes out or if it doesn't. So it smells like pets in here. It just smells like pets and his kids moving out and and uh, he's gonna be moving in. So I smelled it and dressed it. He said he smells it too. So we're doing a full on pet treatment. So green round cocktail. And um, of course we scrub every square inch of this with the CRB type machine counter rotating brushes because it helps pick up what the vacuum still can't and also agitates it into the fiber real good. So you get a real good um, contact with the solution and get more pet hair out. All right. So if you don't get the most pet hair out, then you're probably still going to have a pet smell problem. So that's what we do. I'm going to go ahead and pre spray. All right, so I went around. Well, Brenda went around, CRB'd everything she can get to, right? And then I'm gonna go around with this and just get stains that didn't seem like to want to disappear too much. Because usually, once you go over, over it with the brushes, most stain looks, well, I hate to call it stain because stains, by definition, like permanent stuff. But spots and stuff will just break up and disappear. A little bit of hair left. Um, see that stain right there? That's a. Now we'll call that a stain because with peroxide, you know, product, oxy product, it'll disappear it. But without that, it won't. So it's a stain. So you're yeah, just going through there spotting all right so you can tell she did a nice hesitation all throughout her all the piles all lifted and smells better already so once we rinse everything out right nice good rinse this whole area was got a little bit of pet problem so there was only like a couple areas but still i um charged them Mainly for the the deodorization part of it, and not so much for the staining. So it's going to be easy rinse, except for this back room over here. It's got a bunch of color from the little ones. So I got my spotter bag out. Yeah, that in here, you know. We'll see. All right, time for the rinse. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, that marketing. So this, all this was, we went through the spotter bottle, right? We ended up with the paint oil grease remover, and that's what pretty much did it. So that, I don't think, actually is the same thing. Let's, but we'll see. That was it. All right, so that's the great thing about hot water extraction, guys. You just, that's how quick it is to remove stains and stuff. If you didn't VLM, it's a, it's a much more of a process. 
unless you have your little spotter uh, portable. Alright, all packed up, ready to go. Um, job took us an hour and a half. Leave the ticket at the end of the video, and we're heading off to another pet treatment. So, but yeah, if you guys are not, you know, proactive on doing this pet treatment thing, you know, that's make a world of a difference in your business. It took me a while to dial it in, but once I did, you know, you make more money, all right? I'll <laughs> see you in the next one.